Hi, it's John Chris Mason R&D. Well, today we have a Porsche 911 cylinder head on the CNC mill here. The only reason I'm doing it here is because I have a little bit more height than I do on my bridge port. We made up a new tool to ream out the top of these, or the top where the intake port is, so we can uh, get a little bit more air fuel mixture in this thing. Uh, i got to say this, when you bolt this thing down, which I've made a fixture to do, you want to make sure that you have your port aligned to the center of the machine. And to do that, we have this tool here that we set up in here and line the thing up. You'll find that on most of these cylinder heads, they'll have a little bit of a chamfer in here. And the reason you have that chamfer is to align the head to where these bolts go. So that's going to line up correctly with the manifold. Sometimes they'll be offset a little bit one way or the other. And that really doesn't matter as long as you align to this chamfer right here. Anyway, we're going to show you how this is done. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the cutter and on the head. I already have predetermined how deep I'm going to go and to get the size that I'm looking for. Occasionally what you'll hear is you'll hear cutting more on one side than the other. That's because these heads are not cast true to the hole. Or should I say they're not machined true to the hole. Okay, and that's it. And you can see that we have a nice opening here. And that one's fairly concentric to uh, the cast hole. So anyway, this is how we do it here at Costa Mesa R&D. Like I said, we made up a special tool to do this. And it works out pretty well. We can open this up to quite a big uh, diameter if you need. So if you need this, have this done on your Porsche head. Give us a call here and we'll see what we can do for you. John Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.